Don't miss a new amazing race. Wednesday at 937 Mountain on CTV. We've almost reached the finish line at these 2024 men's U18s. All that's left to do is hand out some hardware. And first up on this medal Sunday, it's the battle for bronze between Slovakia and Sweden. This is ripped in, and they score! Score from the side boards! Andre Maruda, who's got his second of the game. Give and go, shot, score! Eagle Norman buries it, his second of the game. Shot, rebound, Nemitz, score! This is the fourth time Finland has hosted this tournament and just about 30 minutes away from its capital city of Helsinki is where we find Espo and Metro Arena, the site of the final two games today beginning with Slovakia and Sweden for bronze. The Swedes put up quite the fight against Canada falling just short of the gold medal game. They're looking to hit the podium for a sixth straight time at the U18s. While the Slovaks in this bronze medal game for the second year in a row, hoping the second time's the charm as they search for their first medal in over 20 years since 2003. And with that, we say hello and welcome here into our shiny, fancy digs. You know it's a big game if we're in the big studio. It is medal day at the men's U18s. I'm your host, Laura Dyke, and joined alongside our analyst, Dave Reed. So, yes, this isn't the game that Sweden and Slovakia were hoping to play in today on medal day, but they can still leave Finland with some more hardware. So the bronze medal game is on tap, the appetizer to the main event, because talk about a star-studded powerhouse gold medal matchup, undefeated Canada taking on undefeated Team USA, the defending champs. That will get underway at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific. It's going to be a great day of hockey, so let's get it started. To set up this bronze medal game, let's go to Espo, where we find Brian Mudrick and Craig Button. Laura, one of the top players in this tournament for Sweden is the young forward Alexander Zetterberg. He's actually named a top three player for Team Sweden at this championship. Unfortunately, he's been injured, was hurt in the final prelim game and could not play in that semifinal versus Canada. But Sweden, they don't go away. They play hard and they will not quit in this bronze medal game. And they didn't against the Canada in the semifinal game. To say that they showed tremendous fight would be an understatement. After the first period, they were down and seemingly out of the game. But they found a way to get back into the game. They played with a real significant intensity and if it wasn't for Canada's goaltender Carter George Sweden would be playing in the gold medal game this is an opportunity for them to medal in their sixth consecutive U18 tournament it speaks to excellence it speaks to how hard, how high they've raised the bar and that opportunity that's what the players expect certainly an opportunity to really take this to a another level when you get six straight medals at the U18 we know Slovakia will host this tournament again in 2026 and Craig they are on the rise last year their best performance in 20 years and now back-to-back -back appearances in a bronze medal game for the first time in their history. And Dave, we're going to start with those Swedes who are oh so close to making the gold medal game for a third straight tournament. But again, they have a chance to walk away with more medals and keep that medal streak going. So if that is going to happen here today, who needs to have a big game? Well, you're always looking at goaltending in the big game. The most important player in your team has to step up in the biggest games. And Luve Herrenstam has played every single minute for Sweden throughout this tournament. Now, he's on the smaller side of being a goaltender at 5'10", not only 151 pounds, but that allows him to be quicker than most goaltenders. He is eligible for the the 2025 draft 
but he has been tremendous in this tournament for Sweden. Not the reason that they're playing in the bronze, not the gold game. On the other side of that, for Slovakia, it's got to be goal scoring. They've got to find a way to score goals. They haven't done enough of that throughout this tournament with only 19 goals in their six games. And Thomas Popazal, another player, is three days past the uh, eligible date of September 15th as a 2006 born, so he has a 2025 draft as well. He actually plays an entry in the extra league uh, in, in um, Slovakia. Doesn't see a lot of ice, doesn't get a lot of the offensive power play or big time minutes, offensive zone minutes, but in his, against his own age group and the U18s, U20s, he's pretty much a point of game player. He's got to step up for Slovakia to win the bronze. Again, a very young Slovak team, almost half of the roster, underagers eligible to, return, eligible to return to next year's tournament. Again, it's Medal Sunday at these men's U18s. We'll get you back to Espo for puck drop on this bronze medal game. The 2024 Men's U18 World Championship from Finland is brought to you in part by TELUS. Let's make the future friendly together. By ESSO. Celebrate the dedication, growth, and team spirit of minor hockey players with ESSO medals. And by Tim's new Greatest Duos trading cards with two iconic hockey players on every card. It's yours today at Tim's. An Enercare expert can find ways to make any home run smoothly. From heating and cooling, to home comfort solutions like water heating and water purification. Our technicians can help with affordable solutions to keep your home comfortable and problem free. And with 65 years of helping Ontarians, we'll always be here when you need us. Enercare, experts at home. the spring it on event at Leon's. Get amazing deals on furniture. Save up to 50% on select clearance mattresses. Save up to $1,000 on select appliance and TV packages. Spring into savings today. Do we really have any choice at all? Everyone has a choice and every choice has a consequence. Which do you choose? It's full of tough choices. Yeah, How do you choose? Welcome back to Vanta. Just after 2 p.m. local time on Sunday, the medals are up for grabs. Starting goalie for Team Slovakia is Alan Lenyak. Starting in net for Sweden, Luve Herenstam, a 3-2 and two record coming in. He gave up five to Canada in that semifinal. Head coach of Team Slovakia is Martin Dendis. Back-to-back -back appearances in a bronze medal game for Slovakia and Sweden. So consistent, led by Johan Rosen. Five consecutive medals at this tournament. No tournament due to COVID back in 2000, but they have been a great program and a chance to bring home a medal once again. So, Craig, two great teams that have improved as the tournament has wore on. Bronze medal up for grabs. It means a lot to both nations. And we're playing for a medal. Go home with one. Slovakia especially, their best appearance last year in 20 years and the first time ever they made back-to-back -back semifinals and a chance to get their first medal in a long time. Last one was silver way back in 2003. Sweden in the yellow, Slovakia in the blue, that shot at Heron Sam right on, he'll hold that in the glove as we're underway here in Vata. Love a Heron Stam. It's been very good for Sweden throughout the course of this tournament. A 2007 born, we will see him at next year's U18 tournament. When you backstop the age group of the players that are a year ahead of you, it speaks to your talents and your potential. And certainly, they're both very good in the case of Ferencsen. Here's Nemitz. He'll work it in around the boards for Slovakia. Nico Gustafsson plays it to center. Belushko rips it right back in at the skate of Linus Eriksson. Alphonse Frey for Sweden. Through center ice. Frey 
Try to walk it right in. Frey shot off the stick. Right out of play. Alphonse Frey has that skating style. It, it, it doesn't look like he's churning, but it's smooth. He's got a gallop into a stride, and then he can change speed and get you back on your heels. It's almost like he gives you an idea that he's not going as fast as he is, and he goes into another gear, gets a chance like that. Uh, very, very good prospect for the NHL draft and with a very solid NHL future. He's ranked 13th by NHL Central Scouting for European skaters. Him and number four, Leo Selin Willenius, will log big time minutes in this game for Sweden as they have all tournament long. Carl Sterner flips it in. In comes Adam Hesselbaum. Got checked by Samuel Kupets. Orston trying to center. Hesselbaum has the puck and he'll reverse back to Orston. Pinned by Kupets. Sweden controls. In front, backhand to the forehand and lost the handle was Gustafsson. Pretty good move. And he couldn't find the net. Kupitz, the body check. Hero slap to Dan, plays it to the far wall. Good pressure here by Sweden early. Frey, a little floating flip pass. That shot right on as Al Alenyak, 2-2 two two record coming in. He's allowed 16 goals on 96 shots in the tournament. Bergquist jams it back in for Sweden. Spinning is Lucas Pedersen and... It's a pretty good ozone time as that ends up in the club of Alan Lydia. Yeah, Alphonse Frey, I, I mean, his thinking ability is, is excellent as well. He gets along the boards here, so he kind of steps up here, makes the Slovakia player think he's going to come up, gets the puck, understands where he can deliver it for a chance to the net. That type of advanced thinking, that's what gets you highly ranked, and that's what gets NHL scouts excited, and why I feel strongly he'll be an NHL player for a lot of years. Jack Berglund off the draw, comes to the near point. Anborn shoots it in for Sweden. Won their first ever gold medal at home soil back in 2019 in Ornstrunsvik when Umeå and Ornstrunsvik co-hosted the tournament. Back to Herrenstam. Racing after it, Andre Maruna. Great tournament for Slovakia. He's got two goals, three points. And he's been a difference maker for the team. Bernstrom, back end in. Pedersen keeps it moving around the boards. Pedersen picks it up. Goes to the point. Salim Melanius for Pedersen. Salim Melanius loads up just wide with that blast. Side of the net. And trying to jam it home was Melvin Bernstrom. Bernstrom, two goals, six points in the tournament for Sweden. Leo Salim Melanius coming in again. Beats all players this tournament in ice time per game over 25 minutes. In comes Straka. Straka, the steal, wrist shot just wide. It was gifted by Linus Erickson right on the stick of Straka. Pobigel chasing after the puck. Four goals, five points. Those four goals came in that blowout win versus Norway back in preliminary play where Slovakia put up 11. Most ever for that team in the history of this tournament in one game. Tomi. Trying to get it to the right side. Interrupted, and here's Erickson the other way. He'll drop it back. Nice move in tight. Centering feed for Victor Eklund, and it hopped over his stick. He couldn't get the shot on net. Gabriel Eliasson, he's a big, rangy defenseman, six foot six, not afraid of that physical play. He's made a lot of big hits, and he's got involved on the wrong end of things a few times, getting in the penalty box. Icing charged. Sweden early in this first period have established some really good offensive zone time. Sally Melanius, he shoots the puck right off the pass. It comes off the backboards and then Fernstrom trying to slip it in. He realizes that he's got to make a maneuver here. He tries to go between the legs. <laughs> Just misses. Goaltender reaching back and Radovojevic trying to deny him. But it's another example of Players being able to adapt quickly to a changing circumstance, and in that case, has to be between the legs, and Pershing came very close to completing the play. And pass will 
Bring the face off outside of the zone and ball play. Back-to-back gold medal appearances. First for the United States, not to be this year for Team Sweden. Full credit, though, versus Team Canada. Canada in that game, Craig, up 4-0, and then up 4-1. And Sweden had the callers tightening up on Team Canada. As they found a way, it'll be Canada, USA for gold later. Hesselball, nice move. Cuts in for Sweden. Ray shot, Lenyak makes the stop. Johan Rosen, and I talked to him before the game here. I mean, what, what, what they were able to do after really having a poor first period was tremendous. And if it was not for Carter George, Sweet would be playing in the gold medal game. And here's a chance by Hasselbell coming in. Angle shut down. But, but just tremendous in what Sweet was able to do. I mean, he had to go in after the first period where they were down and seemingly out of the game, and they fought all the way back. And Carter George made saves when it was 4-0, 5-1, certainly down the stretch, that literally got Canada to the gold medal game. And without his brilliance, they're, they're playing in this game right here. And Bort works it in. Puck in the corner. Salim Willanius in deep. Plays it below the goal line. Fernstrom up top. Far point, Celine Willenius. Henderson, Anborn, backdoor feed, Celine Willenius. He tried to pass it off, but he had a pretty good look. And here's Miroslav Shatan, some speed up the right side. Shatan, backhand, and that's handled by Airstam right on. Miroslav Shatan, Jr., six foot six. His father in attendance has been watching all tournament long. The president of Slovak Hockey back home. And exciting a tournament heading back to U18s in 2026 to that great country. They were there in Spiska Nova Vest and Poprad back in 2017. The Americans won gold that year. Back to the corner for Erickson. He'll play to the point. Frey across quickly. Gustafson. Back to Frey. Alphonse Frey walking the line. Nice move, Frey. The give and go to the net. Pass in front. And Frey, great job to get that scoring chance for Sweden. Frey and Erickson, far boards. Worked across. Gustafson, Vigo Gustafson. Back door. That was kicked at. As Erickson caught it on net, but with the kicking motion. We're just about six minutes into this first period. And... Alphonse Frey has put a clear stamp on this first period. He has been brilliant in every single one of his shifts. Balushko dumps it in. In comes Sakura. Kobe Shell. Into the action in the corner. Trying to get the puck for Slovakia. It's clear to the line. You see Sterner. He was trying to cruise in, get the pass, but they bring it in offside in our bronze medal game at the U18. trip you can depend on esso to be the place between places connecting you to what's next no amount of studying can guarantee a gambling win Find tips for safer play at gamblingisrandom.ca. Well, Brian, I think you've said the name Alphonse Frey time and time again. And when you have the puck and you can maneuver, watch this deception. The puck skills. Dishes it down, tries to get a play back to the net. And then Wazinski thinks he's going out of the zone with the puck. Not so fast, mister. There's Magnus Havlin, the U-20 coach, coach of their gold medal winning team. Five straight medals at the U-18 tournament, trying to go for six straight medals. Sweden has set a standard. 
at the U18 tournament now. And, and at the U20 tournament, they're going to be a contender for the gold, losing to the USA in the gold medal match in the Octoborg and this year. And, and, and it's promising. It's really, I mean, the players they have coming up are really promising. They finally broke through their first ever gold medal at this tournament on home soil back in 2019. Up north in Orchard's Beak, home of the Moto program, as they've been elevated. They'll come up to the top league in the SHL. That shot, Hope is out right on. Penalty coming up as Slovakia's about to go in the power play. Extra attacker out as Lenyak to the bench. Babouche plays it across. Right away, Vitris shot never found its way through. Puck still available. Slovakia controls. Tomic circling in. And that right pad stop as Harry Sam some nice saves and Slovakia going on the power play. Carl Sterner. Ozbasov gets the puck to the net on a quick shot. And then Sterner trying to deny Straka. That's where the penalty is drawn. Right there on the hands. Four power play goals for Slovakia. They're ranked eighth in the tournament. Sweden's penalty kill ranked third at 82% coming into this bronze medal game. Shatan, a nice win back. Palushka, pop pass. Shatan, shot deflected and just wide up top. Yaroslav Shatan Jr., three assists in the tournament looking for his first goal. Adam Palushka. One assist on the tournament. Govan lost the puck. Jammed to center by Sweden, and they'll clear it. Minute 30 to go in the minor penalty. Here's Shatan. Split off the puck. Comes to Belushko. He'll walk it in. Belushko works it across. Areko. Back to Belushko. Belushko. Fair check, wrist shot. And they got hit a body. Might have got a piece from Heron Stam to keep it out. Belushko again. Now the wrister tipped in front. Puck loose and a good job. That was Shatan and his big frame. Six foot seven in front with the screen. Belushko one more time. That's blocked. Follow up try. And that's deflected just wide. Good pressure here, Slovakia. Belushko. Wrist shot again in Sweden. All they can to block these shots in front of their tender hair and staff. Belushko. Pobigel, nice spin move. Pobigel cutting in, lost the puck. Belushko again. Tried to center, hit a skate, and all the way down by Sweden. Both big, teams changing. Big Meryl Shatan gets in front of the goaltender. It's like an eclipse for Ehrenstam. I don't know if he has to wear the special glasses, but that's not an easy player to find a puck around. There's another guy in the NHL from Slovakia that really got good at that this year in Montreal. Yuri Slavkovsky. Turnover. Pobizel right on Herenstam right at the end of that power play. Love Herenstam has been sharp. The best penalty killer there on that power play for Slovakia. Herenstam reads this play so exceptionally quick. This is the importance of having your eyes on the play and understanding what could unfold and being ready for it. As the puck skips right to Bobazal, Herenstam is not sitting back on his goal line. He's reading it, and it allows him to just explode off that goal line, shut down the net. Really strong goaltending by Lovey Herenstam. Still unable to win the draw. Sweden gets it to center. Eklund up the center line under duress, trying to free the puck for Sweden. Hurts Hill there as well. Comes back to Anborn. He'll play it across for Salim Melanius to the right side. Erickson. Lost the puck and Maruna the other way. Maruna. Shot right on. Handled easily by Heron Stan. He'll steer that into the corner. Sweden away, three wide, drop pass, three shot Eklund, never got through, Eklund again, sends it up top, Gustafsson takes a look and he'll work it down low, 
Lee Lelanius. Erickson behind the net. He's got Eklund in front. Salim Lelanius picks up the puck for Sweden at the line. And that good stick there till able to ship that to center. Halfway through this first period in our bronze medal game at the U18. Good still, Tomi. Tomi in, wrist shot, and that hit the mask of Aaron Stam. Velocity up top. The other way, it's Hernstrom. Trying to take it wide, lost the puck. Tomi stretches it up. Straka has got a step. Tried the backhand feed for Povichel, and that's swatted far boards. Puck at the line. Slovakia's going to back on side. As Straka was in deep still, and it comes in the Slovakia zone. Belush go up quickly. And Fernstrom will lay it back. As Sweden needs a change, they're going to start one. Orquist. Felix Orquist circles around, found Eliasson at center. He'll flip it in. Ushevka. Played at far point, shot in by Sweden. Bouncing behind the net. Going down was Hesselball. Long shot into the glove. Nemitz was cruising in, looking for a rebound and some pushing and jumping as we're heating up a little bit in this bronze medal game. Join the fans of Canada's game across the country and around the world and be a Hockey Canada insider. Receive news and features about Team Canada, events, promotions, and much more. Sign up at HockeyCanada.ca slash insider. Feeling Claritin Clear is like... Is she? Claritin Clear. Yeah. Get fast, non-drowsy allergy symptom relief. Live Claritin Clear. Slovakia and this program is a great story. Back in 2019, they were relegated from this tournament. And what have they done since? Well, Miro Chetan has done a wonderful job. They've built, they've gotten better, they're developing their players. And now back-to-back -back appearances in the semifinals and back-to-back -back chances for a bronze medal here. And the pandemic occurred, which didn't allow them a chance to rise up because the tournaments underneath the top level were not being played. So they even had to wait a little bit longer to return to the top level. Adam Hesselball wanted the pass. He was hammering his stick. It's off the stick. Slovakia able to clear up the peak guy. Off the right side with Nemitz. And the shot missed the mark. Draco plays it into the corner for Nemitz. Adam Nemitz, younger brother of Simon Nemitz, the second overall pick to the New Jersey Devils. A talented defenseman. Nemitz up for Lichko. Lichko shoots, deflected, and wide. There's Draco, a good screen in front, looking for the tip of the high slot. Nico Workplace up the right side for Sterner. Lichko shoots it back in. Chauvin. Able to hold it in. Nice job to keep Slovakia on side, but that's stolen. And skated up ice. Good pace from Eklund. Eklund waiting for help. Spinnerama. Eklund takes it behind the net. He got taken down. Belushko under some pressure. Able to free it to the left side. It comes to center. Salim Melanius up for Erickson. Erickson stops. Goes to Anborn. Salim Melanius. Down low, pass in front, and Eklund was there. Couldn't get it. Anborn again. Bad on the wrist shot. So he'll just drive it in deep. Eklund. Into the corner. Erickson. Salim Melanius. Waiting, shooting, and a good shot blocked, and that'll deflect that play. It's such an outstanding play by Govan because 
Sally Nolenius fakes him to the ice, but he stays right there and gets back and reloaded and reset. And Sally Nolenius was trying to get him to the ice, but Coban just gets, stays right up and ends up blocking that shot. Just a terrific, terrific play. Sweden without Alexander Zetterberg. He was named one of the top three players in the tournament. Actually turned 18 during this tournament. He had two goals, five points, unfortunately injured in the final preliminary game. And an offensive weapon loss here for Sweden as they soldier on in this bronze medal game without him. In comes Lachinsky with Maruna. Jack Berglund, who is the hero versus Finland, had the game-winning goal. He said one of the best moments of his young hockey career to knock off Finland in their home country. Finland hasn't medaled at this tournament, by the way, since 2018. And they'll have to wait at least one more year now as they were eliminated by Sweden in the quarters. Pass up top, Bernstrom. Sends it across, free shot. That didn't miss by much as Vigo. Gustafsson, a great release. Here's Frey. Gustafsson. Tried to center. He'll get it back. Gustafsson. Drops it for Frey. Alphonse Frey. Curls around. Gustafsson. Cycle continues. Pedersen served with a block and nobody home. That'll come to center. Bernstrom at the line. In quickly with Berglund. Berglund, nice move. Allowing his teammates to jump on the ice off the change. He's the lone guy that needs one. He'll hand it off to Anborn. As Hugo Orsten now jumps on the ice for Sweden. Slovakia trying to clear. Just over five to go, first period, bronze medal game. Canada, USA, later on tonight. Here in Espo. Canada played the group stage in Vanta near the Helsinki airport. Esseval at the line. Protects the puck far boards. He got checked there by Sraka. Pass up ahead. Pitka was behind him. Worked into the corner by Slovakia as Wirt was back. Nemitz, good job to steal. They'll skate it in. Nemitz. Workers got back. Gabriel Eliasson. At center, shoots it in. And now Len Yak will play it. Not a lot of dangerous chances here in the last six or seven minutes. Sweden had the first four shots on goal. They haven't had a shot on goal since, being outshot 9-0 by... Norland weaving in, shoots right on, and that was stopped. First shot in quite some time for Sweden. Gustafsson waiting, shooting, and up high. Alan Lenyak to stop. Shots now 9-6 in favor of Slovakia. Hockey is more than a sport. It builds self-esteem teamwork and lifelong friendships i just wouldn't be me if it wasn't for hockey and i think if i lost that i think i'd lose a big part of me without the hockey canada foundation assist fund thousands of kids like lamar won't be able to access the game donate now to help us ensure every child across canada has the chance to play ram power days are here the power to choose from the most awarded truck brand over the last five years. Like Ram Classic, as versatile as it is capable. Ram 1500, voted best large pickup in Canada. Or Ram Heavy Duty, with a no-charge Cummins turbo diesel engine. The power is yours. The time is now. Get 20% off MSRP on Ram Classic for up to 14,200 in discounts. Plus get 4.99% financing. Nordland was terrific against Canada in the semifinal. The speed and attacking into the middle of the ice. 
That's what you have to do to score goals. Nordland is quick and he's hungry to get to the middle part of the ice. Not an easy ice to play in, but Nordland knows if you want to get rewarded, you got to play in that in those spaces, and he does. Had two goals versus Canada. Had some looks for the hat trick in that game. Up to five points in the tournament, Vigo Nordland. Misak controlled by Sweden. Slovakia chips the line. Frey holds it in. Berglund centering pass. Fernstrom shot block. High flip to center. Handled by Alphonse Frey. Frey across. Gustafsson up the left side. And there was a touch, so no icing. It's Berglund into the corner with Fernstrom. Up to Frey. In. Shoots. Glove down. It was in and out of that glove. Tobias Tomic will shift that to center. Bray back up the right wing for Fernstrom. Fernstrom, drop pass, trying to get it back. Fernstrom walking in, spinning in front. Oh, right by it was Perkland. Had the open net, he couldn't get it on. Open cage, and Berglund couldn't get the shot away. That was the best chance in the game so far. Under three to go. Celine Melanius has a little bit of room. He'll drop it back. Sterner shot, and that was a rocket handled by Lenyak. And Chauvin and Chatan collided. As they were both trying to cut in. It's going to be interesting who gets the interference penalty. The cigar could make oh. a couple of decisions, but there's the miss by Berglund. Oh. He just doesn't get a stick on him. And this is the one, so interference there, interference there. <laughs> <laughs> interference everywhere. Another power play opportunity for Slovakia and Martin Dendis. Slovakia opens up that 9 0 loss to USA. Their only win in the group play was versus Norway, but you could see it, Craig. They were finding their way, they were gaining confidence, and you talk about it all the time. You build in a tournament, you want to get better, and they did. Off the drop, he's got Radovojevic, who has six assists in the tournament. Young defenseman for Bobichov. Back to Radovojevic. Bobichov. Bobichov, Radovojevic. That shot that hit Straka went wide. Straka got banged up a few times in that game versus USA. Radovojevic, Bobichov. Radovojevic again. He'll work it across. Wrist shot right on as Tomic. Good velocity there. And a clear by Sweden. Strack had just delivered a hit on Torreson. Got in the corner. This has been an excellent line for Slovakia. Polbazel between Strack and Tomic. All three of them are not eligible till the 2025 draft. Same with. Same with Radovojevic and stepping in there trying to pick a spot and that's not the first kick save we've seen from Torreson and Aaron Stem and that check just gets finished on Torreson but he made a kick save on the first penalty kill makes another one just there. Sweden's path here, they lost to Canada, beat Kazakhstan, lost to Czechia in a shootout 3-2, and then beating Switzerland in OT, and that quarterfinal win, 2-1 over Finland. Canada got it done in the semifinal, obviously, and here we are, bronze medal game, Belushka works it across, shot tipped, and Shatan again, got a big frame in front of the net. Slovakia is really well coached. And, and keep in mind, a lot of young players, but really well coached. That play on the power play, move quick across, players to the net. You get 
traffic and you get an opportunity. Jovan plays the far boards. Belushka. Great shot up high again, and Shatan in his office. Final minute here in this bronze medal game as we made our first goal. 15 seconds left of the power play. Jovan plays it far boards. Back at beat. Belushko wrist shot, puck in front. Still loose as they jam away. Jovan was there. And you can see big Miro Shatan Jr. It, it, it's a great play here by Harrenstam. Harrenstam has to find the puck. This is the play where they set it up with Shatan going to the net and just deflects it. But the timing that goes with that, that's where everything now becomes imperative, where you can put pressure on an opponent. And then Harrenstam has to find the puck in a maze of players. There's Meryl Shatan Sr. and his Meryl Jr.'s mother, sister to the to the other side. A lot of NHL, former NHL or fathers watching their sons at this tournament. We'll see Jerome Ginla watching Tija Ginla. Byron Ritchie watching Ryder Ritchie later on for Team Canada. Derek Clam will watch his son, Max, play for USA. It's been a lot of fun to watch the dads watching their sons. 20 seconds left in the period. Tommy. Well, Miro Shatan's a little bit more relaxed. Byron Ritchie and uh, <laughs> Jerome McGinley do a lot of pacing. I think they get their steps in watching their sons play. Here's Eklund at center. Give you one last chance here. Belushi goes. Got to be quick. And he does get the shot away here, and Stan will cover, and we're in 20 minutes into this bronze medal game. And, and bronze medal, you're coming off a little bit of a tussle here in front of the net. You're coming off a disappointment of losing a semifinal. Sometimes takes you a little few minutes to get yourself ready to compete for the medal, but you've seen that from both teams here after a really competitive first. Slovakia is just the two medals all time, a bronze in 99, silver in 2003. Intermission is next on the Flora. Do we really have any choice at all? Everyone has a choice, and every choice has a consequence. Which do you choose? Life's full of tough choices, Emma. How do you choose? need sports. Jumpstart needs you. So say yes to donating and help families across Canada overcome financial barriers to sport and play. See? Now that's a whole lot to cheer about. Learn more at jumpstart.canadiantire.ca You don't have to go far away to get away. Take a trip down the block to Kelsey's. Why not come try our delicious shrimp, chicken or steak fajitas and Corona on tap. Kelsey's, the original roadhouse. They're not pilots, though they can tame gravity with just the power of the wind. They're not scientists, though they master the chemistry on board. They're not dreamers, except for their profound belief that whoever doesn't fall can fly. Welcome to the Sail GP Global Championship. Technology goes beyond special effects or epic camera shots. Shh. This is my favorite part. It offers surprising new perspectives. Evokes feelings. It takes you places that seemed out of reach. When technology becomes an extension of yourself, that's progress you can feel. That's how 
It's the spring and on event at Leon's. Get amazing deals on furniture. Save up to 50% on select clearance mattresses. Save up to $1,000 on select appliance and TV packages. Spring into savings today. For 60 years, we've been beside you, loving hockey. Through the highs, the lows, and everything in between. The game's come a long way, and together, we can take it further. We are still awaiting our first goal in this bronze medal game between Sweden and Slovakia. 0-0 after the first period of play from Espo and Metro Arena. Which brings us back here inside the studio with Dave and Laura kind of expecting that start between these two teams considering it's not the gold that they're playing for but the bronze. Uh, I expected a few goals. I actually <laughs> expected Sweden to come out with a little more push than they did. They, they came out fairly strong but I, I thought Sweden would really kind of carry the play through this first period which wasn't the case at all and I, I don't know why I expect that because uh, Slovakia is pretty good at shutting things down but it was the D for Sweden that was very impressive. Alphonse Frey had a couple of absolutely beautiful rushes to start the period. Craig Button was talking about how he has put a stamp early in this first period and he absolutely did. It's like let's get a goal. Let's get up on this team. Let's have this team chase us. Alphonse Frey averages just under 24 minutes throughout the tournament. Is going is the 13th overall in central scouting for European skaters. He's going to be an absolutely tremendous defenseman in the National Hockey League. Another player, Leo Shalin Wellenius. We've heard about him lots in this uh, period or in this uh, tournament. He's been absolutely tremendous, and this is the best opportunity that Sweden had late in the period. But for Sweden, to me, it's all about their team defense and their team defense, and now their offense without Alexander uh, Zetterberg in the lineup. This team is, is struggling to generate offense. They get it from their back end. In the first period, it looked like, wow, these guys are going to dominate. Mm -hmm. They're going to get on the board early. Their defense are up on the play, but give Slovakia all the credit. They were able to really slow the Swedes down through the neutral zone and stymie most of their attack. You're right. It was a great start for the Swedes. They had the first four shots of the game, but then it was all Slovakia after that as they recorded the next nine. Uh, what helped things out were a couple of power plays there, but what did you notice about the Slovaks and, and what they were doing in that period? Yeah, Sweden's going to have to be careful about going on the, uh, uh, giving Slovak the power play. The Swedes are the most penalized team with two-minute minors in the tournament. They had two in the first period, but Slovakia is not able to really penetrate the inside zone, and that is all because of Sweden's strong team defense. We've seen strong defense from Sweden throughout the tournament, and Slovakia is not a afraid to shoot from distance. They try to jam the front of the net, but Aaronstam did a really nice job of finding loose pucks. He's not the biggest goalie, but he's very active and he's not afraid to get high on the blue paint to make sure that uh, he can see pucks and look through screens. All of these outside shots are not going to get Slovakia where they want to be, and that's to win the goal, uh, the win to bronze medal, excuse me. But I do give them credit. They are making nice plays. They're generating. I suspect in the second period we're going to see more net drive from Slovakia. If we don't, it's because they're waiting for the third period and they're going to go, we're going to wait for that one shot and maybe try to win it late in the third. Which is kind of what happened in the quarterfinal against the Czechs, right? Absolutely. A couple of bounces, yeah. able to take opportunity, uh, take advantage of a couple of turnovers by the Czechs, and then here they are now playing for the bronze medal against the Swedes. So still to come on medal date, these men's U18s. Of course, it is Canada and the U.S. They'll battle it out for gold. When we come back, we'll take a look at the dynamic duos that got them to this point. between places, connecting you to what's next. No amount of studying can guarantee a gambling win. Find tips for safer play at gamblingisrandom.ca. 
Sunset Marigold? Your call. I'm better at sorting out our mortgage, which was super easy with RBC. They paired us with our own mortgage specialist to give us helpful advice and our best rate. Boom. Get up to $4,600 in cash and Avion points. Oh, Uber Eats has groceries now? I gotta remember that. You know, the best way to remember something is just forget something. What'd you forget? Hard to say. I know what you forgot. Technology goes beyond special effects or epic camera shots. Shh. It's my favorite part. It offers surprising new perspectives evokes feelings. It takes you places that seemed out of reach. When technology becomes an extension of yourself, that's progress you can feel. That's how you feel. It's the Spring It On event at Leon's. Get amazing deals on furniture. Save up to 50% on select clearance mattresses. Save up to $1,000 on select appliance and TV packages. Spring into savings today. Back pass across. What a play. Hagens parries it. How good was that? Artistry on display. Heiserman thought about the one-timer, gets it back, loads up, score! He's tied, Cole Caulfield! Does McKenna cutting it? McKenna, oh, what a goal! He's got the record all alone! Gavin McKenna, highlight reel stuff! McKenna, waiting, in, shoots, oh, he's close, short side, score! Out of midair, the captain's on the board! Unbelievable, the opportunities. The Stars will be out later today in Espo for the gold medal game, and we'll get a chance to see all these record breakers on the ice at the same time. James Hagen's now your new all-time leading scorer at a single U18s, Mr. 22, Porter Martone, Gavin McKenna setting Canadian marks, and then, of course, there's Cole Eiserman. One more goal, and he will set the U.S. national team development program record as well, passing another Cole, Cole Caulfield. And Dave, this quartet has really been must-see TV for the last nine days in Espo, in Vanta, in Finland. And, you know, they set the pace right from the hop pretty much. Um, so let's focus on the Americans first. Hagens and Iserman, how have they been so successful? Why have they been so successful? Well, they're so successful because of their, their smarts. You've got two different style players. you got James Hagens, number 10, who is probably going to be the first pick of the 2025 draft. It is so smart. Uh, they call it the cerebral player. He sees the ice extremely well. He sees his teammates extremely well. He's got tremendous skills as well. The shot, the pass, the ability to find his teammates uh, in all situations. And then you've got the other player, the, the straight shooter. Cole Eiserman in last year's tournament had nine goals and two assists. Going into the with a gold medal to boot. Going into this tournament, he's got eight goals and two assists in the, going into the gold medal game. Pretty much identical. He is ready to shoot the puck every time he is in the offensive zone. Two different style players, two players extremely effective at what they do, and two players are being dominant for the U.S. once again in this tournament. And two players are getting their second taste of this tournament and just showing how important it is to have previous experience, how you're able to translate that hopefully anyway, for the U.S. and Canada into the next year. Uh, Porter Martone, the only returning Canadian player from last year's bronze medal winning team, uh, forming quite the formidable combination there with Gavin McKenna, the new m and M, as we like to call it. Uh, yeah. The, the, Very the original. The McKenna Martone, <laughs> absolutely. All I have to say is that the IHF better have lots of pucks available because with the four players we're talking about, there are going to be uh, lots of pucks taken for a record set. And Gavin McKenna for Canada and Martone are more, uh, they're similar style players. McKenna is more the puck carrier, more the playmaker. He's so good with his speed and his ability to make plays at top speed and his edge work and his puck control. Martone can control the puck and make plays as well, but more of the bigger, heavier style forward, the power forward driving the net. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Ryan Getzlaff of the uh, in the new age hockey. He's got great hands, great skill. Both of these players take the puck to the net hard. They play on the same line. They are very difficult to handle as a pair, let alone try to handle them individually. They have been the dominant forward 
force for Canada's offense and really pushing the pace. This game, the gold medal game, is going to be an exciting game. There is plenty of offense, plenty of top-notch talent. Uh, coming up this afternoon. And it's rare for Canada and the U.S. to meet at this stage of the tournament. Only the third time these two rivals will be meeting for gold. It is the rubber match. Canada winning it in 2013. The U.S. back in 2005. Again, 11 a.m. Eastern time is when we'll have coverage of that one for you. But right now, it's all about the second period of this bronze medal game awaiting our first goal. I mean to fight this war and win it. Not against the king, and I will pay it back a hundred times over. You must crush this beast at its head. The path to victory now is one of violence. To war, then. We fight for our queen! for a taste adventure. The new globally inspired Subway series has landed. Introducing the most powerful Tacoma ever. Shut the front With door. the shut the front door handle. Also known as the seriously raw handle. Or the whoa, 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 whoa handle. And even the No Me Gusta handle, standard on the all new Toyota Tacoma. Kids need sports, Jumpstart needs you. So say yes to donating and help families across Canada overcome financial barriers to sport and play. See? Now that's a whole lot to cheer about. Learn more at jumpstart.canadiantire.ca. The Bricks 10 sale is back. We came when they were setting up to... To say hi to the team? Definitely not scoping out product. Tent sale is back with incredible five-day deals. This dining table is just $2.99. Save $600 in this sleeper sectional. And RCA TV only $99. The Brit saving you more. Okay, okay. I work here. I wanna be a great one. Jack Berglund perhaps getting the best chance on either side in that first period, but it remains 0-0 heading into the second period. So let's get you back to Brian and Craig now in Espo. Welcome back to our coverage. It's the final day, Sunday, at the Under-18 World Hockey Championship. Brian Ludra, Craig Button with you. It's been a wonderful tournament thus far. We await our first goal in this bronze medal game. A look at your head coaches and... There is Martin Dandis. Some coincidental minors. There was a bit of a skirmish, and we'll have a look at it at the end of 20 minutes of play. A little headlock action. I, I guess Gustafson might be Gustafson might be planning on a wrestling career. WWE or something. The captain Bolbazel comes in to, to the defense of his teammates. Still five on five. Colby Gell, Gustafson in the box. We're ready at center. And underway in the second period, awaiting our first goal. Sweden trying to medal in six straight appearances at this tournament. Slovakia trying to 
erase the sting of that loss last year to Canada in that bronze medal game. What a game it was in overtime as Pedersen brings it in with pace, drops it back, wanted Berglund. He'll leave, Bernstrom back and across, and that was a nice stick by Babouche to clear that out of harm's way. Berglund spun around behind the net. Goes back to work, trying to free the puck in front. Salino Lanius in deep for Sweden. And controlled by Slovakia. Here's Fabush. Long stretch pass at the line. Knocked down Hovan there. And it was brought in offside. Renko couldn't stay on side. Just the edges of the blue line. There's big Gabriel Eliasson. Usually in the middle of every physical skirmish. <laughs> Some within the rules, some outside the rules. Well, he's six foot six, Shatana Jr. six foot seven, so two of the bigger guys on the ice in this bronze medal game. Nice move, Eklund. Trying to bring it into the slot, and he will. Puck available, Nordland spins away. Cross ice, Frey right on into the club. Good velocity by Lenyak ready. I can't begin to express how impressed I am with Alphonse Frey. This putt comes across and he now gets his feet set and turned where he can shoot right off the pass. Just a, I mean, that's outstanding footwork by Alphonse Frey. And we talked about him so much in the first period and we will continue to talk about him because he's got that big of a presence in the game. Here's Eklund. Erickson. Erickson winding up the speed. He circles around the offensive zone. Goes around the goalie again. Erickson flips in far boards. Pray the shot behind the net. And then it slipped right by Nordland. Slovakia clears the center. As Erickson, gets, as Erickson gets rolling there, all I can think about is Bandy. Have you ever seen Bandy? He's played on a soccer pitch, frozen ice, and in Sweden it's a pretty big sport. I, I, and I've seen Bandy, and sometimes you get those big waves of skating. Not as much ice here on the hockey rink, but conjured up images of Bandy. You know who did that at a high level? Matt Barcel in 2015 in Switzerland in Zoom. He would spin around and he would create and he showed off the wheels and later won Rookie of the Year in the NHL and a star player now in the National Hockey League for the Islanders. Canada won bronze that year. That was the year that the USA won with Austin Matthews, the golden goal from Colvin White, beating Finland in that final. Off the draw, Hesseball shooting. And it never got through. Kupitz, Esselbaugh, collide, far boards. Sterner. Orston, the feed, Hesselbaugh, fighting for space. Gets it back, Hesselbaugh, in the corner. He got tripped up, and they're going to call a penalty. That'll be a trip on Nicholas Vietzel, and Sweden on the power play. Well, right in the course of your play-by-play, -play, you said, tripped up. The referee didn't miss it either, so... Slovakia goes on a penalty kill. And the leg whips out of there. Sweden, five power play goals in the tournament. They're ranked seventh in that department. Really across the board offensively, it's USA 1, Canada 2. Really in everything when it comes to offense, power play, penalty kill, and we're going to feature them in the gold medal game. They have the top two goalies. They got the top two power plays, penalty kills. We can't wait. So what you're really saying is no surprise they're playing for the gold no medal. No surprise <laughs> to me, Craig. Nope. I said it early in the tournament, getting to watch both. We got to call USA's first game here, then made the drive to Vanta. And I said, you know what? Don't fret me with a good time. It's USA Canada, and we're pretty excited for that. Doesn't happen often, as Laura talked about. Just two meetings all time, and the last time, 2013. So they're one and one in gold medal games, USA Canada. Nice move. 
Up to the right side as Erickson was cutting towards it with Pedersen. It's played to the point. Slee Malinius. Erickson. They'll set up on the power play. Eklund's parked in front. Erickson moves over, gets the pass. Erickson. There's Bernstrom. Bernstrom. Salim Melanius. Salim Melanius back to Erickson. Salim Melanius. Waits. Pop pass in front. Berkeley's going to get the shot off. Bernstrom. Pedersen. Pedersen behind the net. So Sweden working it around. No shots yet, though. Salim Melanius. He'll go down low. Bernstrom across one time drive and just not enough movement here by Sweden. They're just passing it around the outside. Pedersen in the corner. Pedersen below the goal line. Eklund's in the bumper spot. Bernstrom up top. Slimelanius shoots a good block. Right to Slimelanius. Cross lace pass. Bernstrom. Lee Melanius. 15 seconds left and not a lot of chances here yet. Pedersen, see pass in front and that was stopped and cleared. Craig, I can hear you in my ear and you're not even talking. Move it quick. Get your feet moving. Move the puck around. They just didn't have a lot of great chances there. Well, they didn't have any good chances, let alone but they have more chance because when you don't try to break down the defenders and Slovakia was incredibly patient and positionally strong, and they, they said, try to break us down, and they never were coming close to it. Five on five, a good kill. Paul Bichel was trying to move it up. Ice, he had Nemitz. Nemitz racing after the puck. Paul Bichel picks it up. Nemitz in front. Bouncing puck, high slot. Worked back for Ruschevka. For Straka, that shot stopped, and Heron Stam will cover. And Paul Bichel in that high real estate area right in front of the net. Really good penalty kill, and then the pressure gets applied in the offensive zone by Slovakia, staying on the puck. I, I talked about good teams, how they stay above the puck and reload above. You see a great, great example of that by Straka get the opportunity you're not trapped defensively and you get the offensive chance strack of Pobazel and Tomic aren't eligible to the 2025 draft what an outstanding line to have been here I just continually be impressed by Slovakia and the way they play and they lost their first three games of the tournament it's not how you start it's how you finish and certainly for Slovakia They've continued to impress with development right through their individual players and, and the team play. Norway beat Kazakhstan in a shootout in that relegation game. So Kazakhstan goes down, and it'll be Germany coming up, winning the D1 tournament. Here's a turnover. That shot never found its way through. A good block by Hornquist. Five minutes into the second period. Chauvin. Back in his own zone. Kupitz to the left side. Shot in. That drive, Heron Sam ready from the far boards. Marunas scored from there. Earlier in the tournament, a seeing eye shot that found its way in. That was against Czechia in the quarterfinal. I think that ended up being the game winning goal, too, Craig. It did. It was the third goal of the game. It made it 3 1 at the time. Czechia scored another goal. But... Here's Nordland. Lost to handle the puck, but Lichko couldn't clear. Gertzel back. It's checked by Eklund. Kupitz around the wall. Held in by Sweden. Erickson trying to free it. Comes to Frey at the point. The shot misses. In comes Salim Alanius. Salim Alanius in the corner. Erickson, his turn. Erickson on the puck. He'll leave. Salim Alanius. Erickson behind the net. 
Norman. He'll drop it off. Salim Alanius. Looking to walk it in, shoots, and that was blocked. Leachko clears it out of the slot. Back to Nordland for Erickson. Nordland. Slingelanius. Race shot. Wanted the tip from Nordland. Slovakia just playing the zone right now. It's not a power play. Sweden just on the outside, throwing it around. Slingelanius. Cross ice pass. And finally, it's Andre Maruta down the ice, and that's going to be icing. Barry Trotz, the great coach in the National Hockey League with the New York Islanders. He said, you can have the puck outside the dodge. You can play with it. You can hold it as long as you want. Until you start to put pressure on us inside the dots, we don't care. You can go and play out there forever and a day. It doesn't matter. You're not going to be scoring from there. So if you don't want to play inside the dots and attack into the slot and inner slot area, keep the puck. Look fancy. Alphonse Freya cross, shot wide. Puck behind the net. Gustafson, far point. Gustafson. Alphonse Frey. And again, deflected into the corner. Slovakia doing a good job, not allowing a lot of lanes towards their goalie, Ella Lenyak. Gustafson back for Frey. Only eight minutes gone in this second. Lindbergh brings it in. Denberg sets up in front. Here's Frey in, shoots right on, and Lenyak the stop. 0-0 zero, zero in our bronze medal game. The future of the game on display here in Edmonton. Puck left for there, works in, shoots it! What a goal! With incredible five-day deals. Save $800 on this sofa. Rustic queen bed, just $299. Plus, while quantities last, 33-inch side-by-side fridge, only $799. The Brick, saving you more. Some busy, busy Calgary Flames. Dave Donis with a little chuckle. Craig Conroy in the middle. Jerome McGillie, he always has to be on the right of Craig Conroy. That's where he played. Dennis Grabeshkov is just above Dave Nonis, a Russian scout, made his way over here. First round pick by the Los Angeles Kings. Daniel Briere. All these executives, all they're, they're just looking at their phone. Like, what's going on here? Everybody talks about the kids being on their phones all the time. What about NHL <laughs> management? They could argue, Craig, they're just stoking the flames for deals down the line for the draft in Vegas. They're working. You could. You could. I'm not saying that's what's going on. I'm just saying they could, you know, that's the sales pitch. The draft lottery coming up on Tuesday. So certainly the Flyers and the Flames will be sitting, hoping that we can get the first pick in the lottery and draft back from Celebrini. Shot tip, Pedersen right on. I joked with Craig Conroy, we had him on the air, we appreciated his time. If he's chatted with Jerome about making the trade up or looking at Tisha Kitla, and he laughed and said they hadn't chatted about it yet, as we check the replay here on this opportunity. Yeah, let the act just, hey, I'll take that shot every time. Make sure we start with a face off. It is not high event hockey. Not a lot of opportunities on either side. And you get the sense, first goal might be the difference here. Sweden able to win the draw. Frey waiting, shooting the tip, and a good job burglar, and he tipped it wide. 
in front, shot stop, rebound side of the net. And the best look for Sweden off the stick of Melvin Bernstrom there. Kovan starts the play. Svercek chips it in deep. Kovan goes to work. Chikan up front as well on that line, but Sweden gets it to center, led by Frey. Shot in, Bergman right on, and Lenyak was ready. Bernstrom around the boards. Picked up by Salim Alenius. Leo Salim Alenius stops. Backdoor feed, and nearly got Eklund in stride there. Eklund has it. Eklund on the puck, waiting, still with it. Eklund takes it behind the net, didn't get the shot off. Eklund, Salim Alenius. He'll throw the puck in. Anborn there. Nordland behind the net. In comes Sushevka. He can't clear. Salim Alenius, far point. Dishes it back in deep. That wrist shot high, glove side. Nordland, good velocity on that. Salim Alenius back on the puck. Nordland. The give and go, Nordland. Tried the backhand pass, but nobody there. That allows Slovakia to clear. Chauvin dumps it in, and Slovakia starts to change. Salim Lanius, the high flip into the corner. Babush. Trying to take the puck away. Victor Eklund. In there with Lindbergh. Dredge pass from Radovojevic, intended for Pete Guz. Nemitz now racing after the puck. There's Frey. Alphonse Frey. Moved up the right side. Eshelval shot, and he whipped it wide. Frey holds his own. Hit by Pika. Frey pokes it into the corner. Centering pass, bounce on Eshelval. Comes to Gustafson for Frey. Alphonse Frey, in deep. Lost the puck. Right to Thomas Renko. Here's Orston. He's got some space up the line. Change wrist shot and a nice stop there. Lenya and Slovakia nearly caught on that change. Salim Lanius maneuvers to his right. He'll work it in. Eshelval, let it go. Track of the body check. Him and Leach go in the corner. And it's played to center. And Bourne quickly for Berglund. Berglund has Pedersen with him. Wozniak, below the goal line. He'll leave it in the corner. Picked up by Pedersen. He's got space. Wozniak. Plays it up for Salim Alanius. Wrist shot tipped, and it got through to Lenyak, who stopped it. Berglund. Jack Berglund in, shoots, and he missed glove side. Slovakia has not had any ozone time really at all in the second period. They haven't, but Sweden hasn't done anything with their ozone time. Back to the Barry Trots. Adam Belushko from his own zone. Trying to get into center. Wachinski, the backhand in. In comes Andre Maruna. Trying to steal, and he will, although he got taken down and lost the stick. He's got a stick back. He's got the puck. Maruna in the corner. Pika there. Pika. Good battle. He's got the puck, and he feeds the point. All the way up. Top the shot from Kupitz. Malush go on and the right pad save there from Herenstadt. Finally, Slovakia getting settled in a little bit here in the offensive zone. Nordland. 
Off for Erickson. Erickson drops it off. Wrist shot blocked by Eklund. Eklund again. Eklund. Stick Cavalier lost the puck. It comes to Silly Willenius. Sweden changing on the fly. That shot kicked aside. Rebound in the slot. And knocked back in, but Slovakia has it. Hovan chasing after Slim Lenius, who tries to shake him off. Just over six to go in this second period. Pika. Nemitz works it across. Pika to the net. That hit the side of the net. Shot 16-15 in favor of Sweden. Selene Willenius drives play into the corner. Sterner shifts it to the near wall. Radovojevic will play it behind his net. Picked up by Andre Fabouche. Here's a rush. Pete got in. Shot never made way through. Bernstrom in his own zone. Stretch pass up ahead, Pedersen. In with Berglund. Strachet trying to clear, hit by Berglund. Eight minutes here and counting, we'll have a whistle. Awaiting our first goal, Berglund, watched by Straka. Selena Lanius at the line, wrist shot. Bergstrom tries to follow up and didn't get the shot away. Play to the right side, Pobijel. Thomas Pobijel poked at it, right pad stop, Harrisdam. Quickly, it's Erickson the other way. Erickson waiting for help. Sweden changing. Erickson brings it to the line. Works it across. Alphonse Frey walks it in, shoots. And that hit, let go in front. Back to Frey. Frey. Erickson, three shot off the post. That close to getting the first goal in this bronze game. Nordland in the corner, checked by Shatan. Nordland, up for Frey. Frey, across, one-time drive, and the push across. Alan Lenyak takes us to break in a 0-0 game. that we see to a chance right off the post the outside of the post and nice little screen in front of Lendiak yeah, tap those bars do the Mark Andre flurry and hug them and kiss them and here's Gustafson 
He'll work it in. Walter Lindbergh in the corner. Play back for Gustafson. Alphonse Frey delivers in front. And Hesseval was there. It's chipped in the corner. Hesseval again, one timer missed. Gustafson lays it behind the net. Andre Maruna finally clears the center. Frey around the boards. Lindbergh, well, backhand feed. Back up to Frey. And he tried to maneuver, lost the puck. And maybe a chance finally, Maruna. Maruna waits, shoots, and kind of ran out of room. Herrenstam had the angle closed down. 2.29 to go here in this second period. Oh, hey. Wait, what was the question? Let me guess. One driving high combo, extra baked? No. Uh, could I get a burger with a side of... fries? Think you're a better driver when you're high? Think again. Smoking weed affects reaction time and concentration. A message from Mad Canada. When it comes to Tim's smile cookie, not every smile is perfect. <laughs> Again? But they all make a difference. Because 100% of smile cookie proceeds go right back into your neighborhood, spreading millions of smiles to over 600 local charities and community groups, helping our neighbors all across the country. Get your smile cookie from April 29th to May 5th and help us make a difference. the San Jose Sharks, the best odds for the NHL draft lottery, and Backlund Celebrini is the prize. Interestingly enough, as Backlund Celebrini played some of his minor hockey in the San Jose area, so you think about his dad, Rick, who works for the Golden State Warriors. Seems like a nice fit, not only from a player-wise, family-wise, history-wise. You like it when a story comes together. Straka winds up. That was blocked. And one of his picks, the fourth overall pick, Will Smith, who won a gold medal World Junior U18, will represent Team USA at the Men's Worlds with Ryan Leonard, who had the golden goal in this tournament. Trey Augustine, a goalie that you know very well from this tournament, also gold medal winner. Pass across, Anborn waiting, shooting right through the crease. And you mentioned Macklin Celebrini. He'll represent Team Canada at those World Championships as well. Bernstrom just onside. Salim Melanius across. One time drive, score! Sweden on the board. They strike first. Lucas Pedersen makes it one running. Neil Salim Melanius threads the needle. Looks like Slovakia. So Slovakia is looking to challenge for offside. That's offside. I think this goal is coming back. Bernstrom jumped it. You have to be in possession of the puck before you go over the red line, or the blue line, sorry. And the first view really gives us the best look at it. And certainly Slovakia is challenging. And based on the video we have seen and I have seen, I think this goal will be disallowed. Keep in mind, if, it, if they're wrong, and they get a two-minute penalty. Hey, Craig, we've got some Canadian content in this game, both referees, Jesse Gore and Taylor Brzezinski Start of Canada. Start. Here, here's the play again. You'll see here where Fernstrom, he tries to get onside, and then he jumps it. I, don't, I think that's offside. I don't think he stays on the plane. Close, but I don't think close in a positive way for Sweden. And it's pretty quick. So now it becomes time on clock. Yeah, no goal. Yeah, that, it was quick and it was 
I was talking to our vice president, Paul Graham, last night. He talks about the CFL. He says, if it's clear and obvious, let's get it done. If it's not, then, you know, maybe we take a little bit of time, but not too much time. That was clear and obvious. Eight seconds put back on the clock. And we still await our first goal. You're talking about the referees. I mentioned in yesterday's broadcast, Jesse Gore, his mother, Debbie, who I went to high school with, friends, and I saw Jesse at breakfast this morning. I said, I was talking about your mom. He goes, oh, yeah, she told me. That's she great. watches all my games. So, Deb, if you're watching this one, hello to you. That shot off the side of the net. Gustafson. Frey at the line. Alphonse Frey. And that pop to center. Peter Brzezinski, by the way, from Alberta, one of the referees of the year back home in Alberta. So it's nice to see them getting recognized and these opportunities and these medal games here at the U18s. There's Frey, near point. Slings that across. Sling Mulaney has tried to center. Straka picked it off. Possible rush here as Tomic drives play in deep. Tomic hitting Salim Alanius. Final minute, second period. 0-0 zero, zero game. Shots locked up at 18. Bronze medal up for grabs. Radovojevic to the left side. Flipped in by Tomic. He'll start a change. In comes Tobias Pitka. He works for that puck below the goal line. Trying to move the puck, they finally will. Radovojevic, wrister high over the net off the stick. Karen Stan was reaching for it with a glove. 19 seconds left. Sweden trying to clear and they will. Lucas Pedersen was open for the home run pass. Good pressure by Harenko, trying to take the puck away. Pika nearly stole it at the line. One last chance, Horenko, drop pass, shot up high and at the buzzer. Aaron Stamm, good save on Adam Nemitz. Well, good luck to Laura Dykin and Dave Reed with the highlights of that second period back in the studio. <laughs> you know what, you know what, Greg? They're trained professionals. They've done a great job on tournament. Laura, Dave, full confidence in your intermission. Next. Happy birthday, big guy. Your old minivan? Your old minivan. It still runs? Like new. And thanks to Fountain Tire's trusted, reliable service, you'll be driving this for a long time. Never getting rid of this, baby. Great. And of course, quality tires. Why is that guy there? Because, honey, wherever you go, Fountain Tire is right there with you. Right there in that radical sidecar. What do you got under the hood? Just my legs. Fountain Tire. We're on this road together. Interrupted by dry eyes? Get fast-acting relief with Hydrosense Eye Drops. Made with a naturally sourced lubricant. Hydrosense Eye Drops. The Bricks Tent Sale is back with incredible five-day deals. Save $800 on this sofa. Rusty Queen Bed, just $2.99. Plus, while well, quantities last, 33-inch side-by-side fridge, only $7.99. The Bricks, saving you more.
Technology goes beyond special effects or epic camera shots. Shh. It's my favorite part. It offers surprising new perspectives, evokes feelings. It takes you places that seemed out of reach. When technology becomes an extension of yourself, that's progress you can feel. That's how it is. Kids need sports. Jumpstart needs you. So say yes to donating and help families across Canada overcome financial barriers to sport and play. See? Now that's a whole lot to cheer about. Learn more at jumpstart.canadiantire.ca. continue Saturday as CF Montreal hosts Miami so you know what that means you'll get to see Lionel Messi in action it's his first game on Canadian soil all he had yesterday was a goal and five assists uh, soccer lives here on TSN 7:30 Eastern time is when our coverage of that one gets underway meanwhile over in Espo in the greater Helsinki area yep we we still don't have any goals yet Dave but Lucas Pedersen sure tried unfortunately that Swedish goal was ruled offside, so goose eggs is where we stand after 40 minutes in this bronze medal game at the 2024 men's U18s. Craig and Brian, we are ready for the challenge to talk about what we've seen so far over this first 40 minutes. First, Slovakia, you know, we've, we see this obviously in tournaments like this. Players are going to age out. You're going to have to kind of bring in a new class, a new group, and it is a very young group that the Slovaks have yeah. here this year with uh, 10 players born in 2007, which means, again, that they are eligible to return to next year's tournament. They don't have a Dalibor Dvorsky that's going to come to the rescue like they did last year, and we've kind of seen the style there in this 40 minutes where they like to sit back and kind of chill and watch how things go, <laughs> but it's not necessarily entertaining to watch, per se, no. but it's working for them it's, so far. It, you know, it is. It, it, it's like great pitch in a baseball game it may not be the most exciting to watch but you can dive into it and say you know what this team is doing exactly what they're told and that's play defense don't get yourself caught in a situation where you have too many players blow the puck okay you're at the top of the circle in the offensive zone you have two players two forwards skating backwards ready to defend this is all about defense blocking shots all about defense keeping the opposition to the outside Winning one-on-one -on -one battles, great job. Layers of defense. You get through one, you've got to get through two. You've got to get through three. Slovakia's done a fantastic job. There's no pressure. Don't pressure. Maybe if you see a number, then pressure. Sticks in passing lanes. Sticks in shooting lanes. Bodies in shooting lanes. They're doing a great job. And remember, Laura, you said... 10 players will be back for next year's tournament. This is almost like, guys, you know what? Yes, it'd be great to get a bronze. Maybe we can sit like we did against uh, Czechia and wait for that third period, wait for that one mistake by Sweden this game. But they're preparing for next year. Mm -hmm. Not that they don't want to win. They're playing defense, 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 and the, they will wait for a shootout if, if need be. And now here you are. You're Sweden. You know where you're going to get. You know the defensive structure from Slovakia. So how do they break through? What are the adjustments you want to see in that third period? There are, there are a few different ways to do it, and you've got to execute. Face-offs are one. You get an offensive zone face-off, win the draw, execute. This is a great play. You win it back. You come down the boards. You find an open man in the slot, look for a redirect. That doesn't work. You've got to win one-on-one -on -one battles on the boards. And when you get in these one-on-one -on -one battles, you can see the layer defense by Slovakia. It's a two-on-three in the corner with another player right there. Win the battles, come out of the corner with a puck, and then think, take it to the net. Two great opportunities off one face off. The other one is keep an eye on number 24, Linus Erickson. He skates down below the corner, kind of out of the screen. And then you, it's Alphonse Frey. Bring the opposition to the opposite side of the ice. Try to create some confusion and bring it back. And you see the confusion of Slovakia. Everybody gets caught on the left side of the ice, and the right side is wide open for a shot. So we're probably going to see more in the third period of Sweden crisscrossing high in the zone. I like to call it a high cycle when it's near the boards. But as you move yourself across, you try because you're playing man on man, you can create little picks between two Slovak players. And when that happens, somebody is going to be open and you have to find the open man as Sweden did there. Give Slovakia credit. They're playing a fantastic game. This is a great defensive game. May not be the most entertaining game, 
But as far as executing your game plan, Slovakia is winning this game. See, we did it. We talked about <laughs> the first two periods. No problem, Brian and Craig. No problem at all. Challenge accepted. Uh, again, a lot on the line here, obviously, with that bronze medal. The Swedes looking to make it six straight tournaments with a medal, while the Slovaks haven't won one since 2003. Our intermission will continue after this. I can't believe this place is ours. Should we go with Sunset Marigold or Bright-Eyed Susan? Oh, you are the paint specialist. Huh. I'm better at sorting out our mortgage, which was super easy with RBC. Super easy. They paired us with our own mortgage specialist to give us helpful advice and our best rate. Another good idea. Boom. Does RBC need a paint specialist? Maybe. I can work with maybe. Get up to $4,600 in cash and Avion points. Little Caesars Chicago-style pizza is loaded with toppings. On toppings. On toppings. Fully loaded Chicago-style pizza only at Little Caesars. Chicago, Chicago. Mm. Mm, uncle. Hey, fellas. We've got to talk. Mm -hmm. It's about your food. It has spray-on flavor and powdered meat. It's time for fresh food that belongs in the fridge next to our food. Now, who's hungry? Fresh pet. And that's how I remember Uber Eats has coffee. I remember something by forgetting something else. Okay. Have a seat. <laughs> a what? A, a, a seat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what's been... Oh. 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 Is this having a seat? Um, no. Technology goes beyond special effects. Or epic camera shots. Shh. It's my favorite part. It offers surprising new perspectives evokes feelings. It takes you places that seemed out of reach. When technology becomes an extension of yourself, that's progress you can feel. That's how it is. Kids need sports. Jumpstart needs you. So say yes to donating and help families across Canada overcome financial barriers to sport and play. See? Now that's a whole lot to cheer about. Learn more at jumpstart.canadiantire.ca. It's the Spring and On event at Leon's. Get amazing deals on furniture. Save up to 50% on select clearance mattresses. Save up to $1,000 on select appliance and TV packages. Spring into savings today. Well, the next tournament on the international schedule is the Men's Worlds, which kicks off this Friday in Czechia. TSN will be airing all 64 games. They will hand out the medals on May the 26th. Now, Canada, the defending champs, with another Canadian team looking to win gold here today. Some of the players from that Worlds team sent their best wishes to this U18 squad. Hey boys, it's Mac and Salabrini. Just wanted to say um, we're wishing you guys all the best in the Mel rounds at the U18s and um, we'll be watching and cheering you on from here. Hey boys, Damon Severson here. Wishing you guys all the best in the Mel rounds this year at the under-18s. Uh, we'll be watching from over here and uh, hopefully you guys can bring home the gold and we'll follow you guys up. All the best. Hey guys, it's Bowen Byer. I just wanted to wish the U18 team um, good luck in the semifinal game and bring home the gold. Hey guys, it's uh, Keaton Cooley here. Um, just wanted to wish you guys luck at the U18s. Um, keep uh, keep going. Um, good luck in the medal rounds and uh, break home gold. Hey guys, it's Connor Bedard. Wishing you best of luck in the medal rounds at U18. Gonna be watching you and the whole country's cheering you on. Hey boys, Dylan Cousins here. Uh, just want to wish you guys all the best in the semifinals. Uh, bring it home, baby. Let's go. Speaking of the men's worlds, the U.S. announced its 23-man roster for the tournament this morning. They revealed their first 15 players a few weeks ago, but now this is where it all stands right now, Dave. Initial thoughts on this one? Well, the thoughts are they're going to score plenty of goals. That's a very good top line. You can see their defense is young and skilled. Seth Jones has been at this tournament many times. He'll anchor the defense. Goaltending... Um Connor Hellebuck, we've seen him at this tournament, unfortunately for the Winnipeg Jets, but not sure if they're going to add him. That might be 
Um, the go-to spot for the United States if you're looking for a weakness might be in that. I like the lineup. Again, it starts Friday, and again, TSN has all 64 games of that tournament for you. As we go back now to the men's U18s, and this tournament traditionally isn't a powerhouse one for the Canadians, you know, whether it's the CHL playoffs going on, they don't have their best talent available, while some players decide to opt out, sit out, and get ready for the upcoming NHL draft. But this year's a different story, as they're going to be going for their fifth gold medal. They've only won nine medals, four gold, four silver and a bronze and this is just the third time in the last 10 tournaments that they'll be playing for the gold medal and it's usually USA's tournament this is for the US it's their wrap-up of their two-year season in the national team development program in Plymouth Michigan and you said it Laura for Canada to get to this point is is a huge plus because many of these young players are playing in their CHL playoffs and if you get past the second round you're not going to be eligible to come to this tournament which is unfortunate for Canada because there's still a lot of good players playing. And Craig has talked about it throughout the tournament. And the CHL European agreement for the players coming from Europe playing in the CHL as import players, they are allowed to leave their team in the CHL and play in this tournament to represent their country. So sometimes Canada is, is, got, is negatively affected. Most of the time... Uh, we see plenty of great talent as we have in this tournament. This, we're very fortunate in this tournament that we we've are. got more than enough talent. And remember, TJ Ginla came over after his team lost out in the second round, and he was a late addition to the team. So, yes, this is usually the USA's tournament. This is going to be a great gold medal game with two of the best offenses in the tournament, two of the best offenses we've seen in a long time. The collision in this course, yes, it actually happened. Uh, Canada has gone untied and undefeated just twice at this tournament. 2013, when they won gold with Connor McDavid, and as well in 2021 when they had Connor Bedard, Shane Wright on that team. So one more win, and Canada can add the 2024 edition to that group. Third period, we're hoping for a goal, guys, in this bronze medal game. Get up to 10% back in PC Optimum points with the no annual fee PC MasterCard and fast forward to free. Add some adventure to your summer during Yamaha's Right Here Right Now sales event. Cash rebates, special finance offers, extended warranty and more. Offers end May 31st. Visit your dealer or Yamaha's website for details. Earn unlimited points that don't expire with the no annual fee PC MasterCard and fast forward to free. Technology goes beyond special effects. Or every camera shots. Shh. Is my favorite part. It offers surprising new perspectives. Evokes feelings. It takes you places that seemed out of reach. When technology becomes an extension of yourself, that's progress you can feel. That's out. Get up to 10% back in PC Optimum points with the no annual fee PC MasterCard and fast forward to free. Three of the most coveted trophies in hockey are up for grabs as champions will be crowned in the OHL, Stars! the WHL, that is a big goal. and the QMJHL. That'll do it! Countless hockey greats have hoisted this precious hardware. What they've all been dreaming for. Now, it's time for the stars of tomorrow. A photo that will live for the rest of time. The CHL League Championships live on TSN. Again, with less than two minutes to go in the second, it looked like Lucas Peterson had finally broken the deadlock, but no, no goal. Slovakia challenge for offside, and offside it was. So we're still knotted up at zeros, heading into the third of this bronze medal game. Back to Brian and Craig. Approaching 4 p.m. local time on this Sunday, we are in Espo, about a 20-minute drive 
just northwest of downtown Helsinki. And the drive for bronze continues in this third period. And you wonder, does first goal win here, Craig? There hasn't been a lot of offensive chances. The goalies have made some good saves, but a great opportunity for both nations here in the third. Yeah, third period, obviously. Teams, certainly what you wouldn't call a high event. You've mentioned that a few times during the course of the game, but leave it all out there. Backboard is Andre Fabouche. Plays it into the corner. Adbert. Couldn't work it in any deeper. And Slovakia breaks up ice. Bobigel wrist shot off the stick of Berglund and wide. Throw towards the net, knocked down. Bouncing in front of Team Sweden's bench. Turned over again at center. Bobigel comes again. Bobigel right in front, back to her feed. And a pretty good look as Radovojevic, the young defenseman, he was in deep. Trying to get that shot off. Look out, here's a chance, Vani. Pedersen shoots off the post. Rebound, oh, what a stop. Legia got back. The best chance of the game. They come again. Eriksson shot, and Legiak covers it up off the post. And then Alan Legiak stretching back. Unbelievable. Well, to say that this was a glorious chance would be an understatement. Anborn gets it up off the deflection. So the first shot looks like it might have been the defenseman that, the defenseman that came in. Greg. Yeah, the defenseman's the one that came back. The shot goes wide, and oh, you can Straka. see where Straka comes all the way back with his stick. That's a great play by Straka. That might be a metal saver. Vivenko shoots, and he missed. Short side up high. What a look there from Sweden. Berkman, the backhand in. Arenko starts to play in his own zone. Pete got center. Stripped of the puck. Eklund the other way. Eklund's wrist shot. In and out of Lenyak and Frey hustling. They'll slap it in. There's Svircek. Svircek's Frisker, and that's off Gustafson and out of play. Anborn gets his puck up quickly through the neutral zone. And then Pedersen is the recipient wide and struck all the way back to that post. Denies what appears to be a sure goal for Lucas Pedersen. We saw him put the puck in the net, but it was wiped out because of an offside. Esselball cutting in. Running out a real estate centering pass. We saw Sweden do that versus Canada Craig. Stretching the ice in that. Man at the blue line stretching the pass and trying to break in. Nearly worked twice here to start this third period. There's a foot race. Heron Stamp coming out to sweep it away from Kovan. Hit up the right wing. Adam Hesselball, a goal, two points in the tournament, goes to work in the corner. Tommy up the left wing with Paul Bigel. Jack Berglund accepts the pass, walks it in. Berglund closed off, though, by Bushevka. Back to the point, Gustafson waiting, gets it back. Gustafson walks it in, wrist shot a low one, and Lenyak to save. Nemitz at center. Pedersen got back. Nemitz has the puck over the line. Played up. Pass behind Fernstrom. And that's jammed out of play. While we sit here, you can see right off the top of your screen, shots are 20-20. The score is 0-0. And... Certainly now, who's going to be a hero? Stracker was just a hero on the defensive side of things, as Lucas Pedersen for Sweden was trying to be the hero on the offensive side of things.
no team here has really asserted themselves and put the other team on notice that you're going to have to handle some pressure. Celine Mullaney has shot tipped and the left pad from Len Yak made the save. Erickson wrist shot wide. Follow him try and the centering from Carl Anborn missed the mark. Celine Mullaney throws it in front and Erickson just skated by it. Had a pretty good look. Celine Mullaney Throws that cross ice. Diego Nordland shoots it in. Sweden changing. Lachinski trying to steal. He did poke it to the slot and looks like he's. Lachinski's drawn a penalty. penalty here for tripping. He steps out from the corner. Slovakia is going to get a chance on the power play. Torsen, who's a very good penalty killer for Sweden, is the culprit on this. Kaczynski's coming out and right there the, into the feet of Kaczynski and an opportunity on the power play for Slovakia. 0 for 2 on the power play, another chance. Michelle and Adam Hesselbaum. Luka Mekanainen, the linesman, finally drops the puck and it's down the ice. Radovojevic back. Good speed by Hesselbaum, though, trying to steal, and he nearly did. Berglund now on the four check. Bobby Jell over the blue line. Trying to go wide on Anborn. He hits him. Bobby Jell has Straka in the slot. Benavojevic just bobbled that puck. Slovakia's got to get back on side. Tough play for Radovojevic. Right shot on the left part of that blue line. Robichel assessing options here on the power play. Radovojevic waiting, shooting high. Heron stamp through traffic, loves it down. Fourteen forty-three left here in the bronze medal game. And the Slovakia team, 10 players on this team competing for a bronze medal at this U18 championship will return, can return next year at the U18 championship. Unbelievable, valuable experience for these young players. And not only that, it's not just the experience, they, they've held their own as they proceeded through the turn. Dan Erickson, Erickson wins it. Slapped along the board, down the ice. Adam Belushko from Kosice, Slovakia, on the puck for his nation. Belushko. Spear check, nice burst of speed, cutting in, wrist shot stopped, and it bobbled through the crease, but Harris have got enough. Lead back to the point. That wrist shot, Kovan right on. Slovakia pushing here, but Sweden another clear. Just 25 seconds left in the minor penalty. Adam Belushko. Bad center. Try to drop it out and hit Shatan. Here's Severe Chick at center. Shoots it in. Heron Stam trying to swat it to slow it down. Paczynski. Wojcinski got the big arm wrapped around him from Eliasson. Five on five. Sweden coming in numbers. Hesseval shot. And that didn't miss by much. I think Lenyak got a piece with the glove and then out of play. 
Zero, zero here in the third. trip you can depend on esso to be the place between places connecting you to what's next play and certainly a little quick move here by Spherich and just gets his glove up enough and is able to deflect it in the right direction away from the net instead of sometimes that puck hits your glove and it gets it falls into the net and certainly Torreson who was sitting in the penalty box has a sense of relief. Kupitz tried to clear, comes to the line, held in. Jack Berglund has Frey cutting to the net, but he couldn't find him with a pass. Berglund digs it free. Trying to work it back to the point. And it's skated up by Andreas Straka. Lobichel reaching for it. Pedersen zips it across quickly. Fernstrom has Berglund in front, and he gave it away to Paul Bichel. Here's Paul Bichel trying to break through. He'll delay towards the net, and that was stopped. Spinning try, and it was a swing and a miss from Tomey. Shot in by Gustafson. Radovojevic. He leaves, but gets it from his forward Nemitz. Play to center. Good burst of speed cutting in is Nordland. Nordland still with it right through the crease. You had the two goals versus Canada in the semifinal. Nearly cashed in there. Linus Erickson lost it in the corner. Nordland back to work. Pitka lifting his stick. Pitka got knocked down by Erickson. Up top and board across. Celine Melanius. Leo Celine Melanius bringing it in. Still with it behind the net. Eight minutes gone in this third. Slee Melanius still dangling. Waiting towards the net. Nordland's turn. Weaving around. Nordland wrist shot in and out of the glove. Slovakia trying to clear, and they will with the second effort. He'd got the line, lost it, but Sweden was changing anyways. Sterner on the fourth check. Buck zipped in. Severe chick plays it behind the net. Jovan spinning. Centering pass. Jatan was in front. Sterner gets it to center. Belushko throws it back in for Slovakia. Nine minutes gone. Bronze medal game, third period. Lindbergh, little give and go. Sterner in front and never found its way through to Hugo Orston who was set up in front of the net. Icing against Slovakia. Well, Vigo Nordland has had some jump in his game. He grabs his pocket. He winds it up. Here he goes and trying to get in. He gets in here close and just gets a little bit too deep. Ends up losing that puck and then again Trying to get into that shooting area. That's a good spot for Vigo Nordland. He's been dangerous. He's found himself in those dangerous areas. Venus Eriksson, the leading scorer for Sweden on the team. Great shot. Pedersen scores. Sweden breaks through. Lucas Pedersen, the dagger from the point. It's one of it. That one's not 
coming back, Craig. I see offensive zone face off, and Sweden takes full advantage. And Lucas Pedersen, just a little flip turn, and then gets to that top, and that is an outstanding shot. How about that celebration? Making sure he's got the hair slicked back, and when you got that kind of a slick shot to put your team up one nothing in a medal game, you can celebrate whatever way you want. That nice little back pass by Frey, and you can hear it tick the, the post. So he had a disallowed goal, he had the breakaway, and then the rebound off the backboards that Straka saved. He doesn't miss there. He's ranked 16th by NHL Central Scouting for European Skaters. Plays up at Orchard's Beak in the Moto program. Got a few games in the SHL. This year, Sweden coming again. Nordlin, he can skate, try to drop it off. Stole the puck back, and he'll fire it in. Puck battle along the boards, won by Slovakia. Here's Straka with Tomi. Straka trying to cut towards the net. Straka with maybe the save of the game as he got back and helped out his goalie. Eklund throws again, gave it away. Kind of reminiscent of. Mason McTavish with the World Junior just sweeping it off the line. Yeah, yeah very uh, similar situation. Overtime of a gold medal game. And Lechinsky. Johnson comes right back and scores the golden goal. Lachinsky trying to bring it right in front, lost the puck, and it's swept to center and no icing. Samuel Kupitz plays it along the wall. Maruna. Dishes into the corner. Lachinsky goes to work. Mikhail Lachinsky. Played off the boards. Malushko works it back in. Lachinsky doing all he can to get that puck. Vika there, as was Maruna, his shot wide. Sweden jams down the ice. Nine minutes to go, and Slovakia is going to have to press a little bit here. Mika, wrist shot, hit, Lee Melanius went wide. Cherchi knocked off the puck. Chauvin racing after it. Laid to center with a stretch pass. Bernstrom had the delay to stay on side as Sweden shoots it in. Leading scorer for Slovakia, it's the defenseman, Radovojevic, six assists, still head off for a change. As Chauvin, wrist shot. Aaron Stam saw it and loved it down. We got a goal. Anderson's made it one other. for a taste adventure. The new globally inspired Subway Series has landed. Hockey fans, get your Hockey Canada gear at shop.hockeycanada.ca. The official online store of Hockey Canada and the largest selection of Hockey Canada gear anywhere. Get jerseys, men's and women's tees, hoodies, headwear, and more. Don't miss out. Shop now and get today's special offer. Shop.hockeycanada.ca, a fanatic's experience. Here's some great teamwork by the officials on the ice. And the puck gets up the ice and they're looking for icing, but it gets deflected. You can see the referee at the top of the screen saying it tipped, it tipped, it tipped it. Right after that, the linesman across the ice gave him a thumbs up. Just excellent teamwork amongst the officiating staff. Right off the draw, shot on here and Stamp stopped that. Areko, a good look right off the faceoff. Lube Herenstam now trying to shut everything down here for Sweden. Yeah, quickly off the faceoff and Areko 
and it puts it between the legs and tries to drive it right to the net. Aronson had to be sharp. One more time, another shot, and sharp again. Two bang bang plays. That time Nemitz the shot. You know, as a goaltender, as the puck is getting dropped, you're trying to keep your focus on where the puck is. On the first one, as Horenko goes to pick it up, you got to be really dialed in there finding the puck. And then as the puck comes back and you see the shot off the faceoff, it's a different vision, a different sight line you have to find. Aaron Stem was excellent on both. This time, Sweden wins it clean. Radovojevic over to Andre Fabouche. Nemitz. Bobizhal. Bobizhal brings it in. Checked by Pedersen. Nemitz in the corner. Upper Fabouche towards the net. Missed. Bobizhal. And Pedersen. Berglund there as well for Sweden. Pass right in front and trying to get that shot off. Again, Nemitz, good work, but he couldn't finish it off. Wrist shot floating in. Rebound available. Harrenstam able to find it and cover. Nemitz battling for position in front and some shoving after the whistle. Yeah, Harrenstam having to find every way to stop a puck. He's down right now. Laboring a little bit to try to get up. The trainer's going to come out, but Aronstam trying to make sure that he can find the puck. He does. The athletic trainer now is out on the ice, taking a look at Aronstam. Some quick shots into the net area by Slovakia and really challenging Harrenstam to be sharp and alert. He has been. He has played every minute, second save of this tournament for Sweden. It looks like the stick might have flipped his eye there. Yeah. yeah it, 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 you know, the way the sticks are now, a little bit of a point just gets in there. And doesn't, he's ready to go. 7.35 to go. One inning Sweden. Lucas Pedersen, his third of the tournament, seven point. Slovakia, weak shot. Aaron Stamp steers it aside. Jeff got in the corner. He got dropped. Puck available at the line. And it's picked up. Horse and centers. Tomic sweeps it out of harm's way. Here comes Pika. And the wrist shot missed. Ushevka holds it in for Slovakia. Belushka picks it up. Try to throw it towards the net. Play into the corner. Here's Straka waiting, shooting tip. Oh, what a save! Tomic the tip, and a penalty coming up. Harenstam's best save of the game. Delayed penalty, backhand try. What a stop from Harenstam to keep it one nothing. The reaction time is you're getting yourself set in position going one way, and the deflection goes the opposite way in that left pad of Harenstam. What an unbelievable save. And we see the penalty comes up. There. Oh, that is just fantastic. The, the leg quickness and the concentration being able to reload. The importance for a goaltender to have quiet feet. Because if your feet are busy, you're not going to be able to react and move to that. Aristem's are in a good stance. Feet are quiet. Brilliant save to keep Slovakia off the board. Native of Stockholm, Sweden. Not draft eligible until 2025. That was a great save. Power play time now for Slovakia. Trying to tie up things in this bronze medal game. Radovojevic couldn't hold his own. Lenyak will play it. Slovakia will try 
set up here with his man advantage. Great opportunity at this stage of the game. Hobijel. He'll stop near boards. Hobijel. The give and go strike a wrist shot and another pad stop. Radovojevic back as Esselval there as well. Esselval has the puck first. Try to work it back to Orsten and Will. Orsten. Esselval. Gave it away though to Straka. He could have just killed off some more time in the corner. Straka two on two. Slovakia's power play changing though behind the place. So no one really at the blue line as Belushko rushed on. And a good job. They pulled it in. Wrist shot. Hovan and that was blocked. Hesselball paid the price and he clears again. He needs a change and he'll take one. Hasselball gets right to that middle of the ice. Makes a great shot block. 50 seconds left to the man advantage. Boban starts the play, thrown towards the front of the net, comes to the right wing. Orson again on the penalty kill. One on one trying to cut in. Great job by Sweden as they'll kill off some more time. Gabriel Eliason takes a look, throws it to center. 25 seconds left in the minor penalty. Chetan, the backhand in. Here's Dam, will pop the puck to his blue liner. Eliasson can't clear. Babush keeps it in. Radovojevic across, that drive right on. Rebound, Maruna in front, puck still loose. And it's clear to center. Back to five on five, big kill Sweden. As Alphon sprays out, Bobby Jean shot in and out of the glove, and Eklund will clean it up. Under five to go. Bronze medal game. Aaron Espo. That wrist shot. Just missed the mark. Three back far boards. Radovojevic. Drops the puck off. Rebound. Side of the net. Nemitz was in front. As was Polpajal. And that hit the side of the net. You can see the fans thought it was in here. Babouche shoots. Aaron Sam stops that. They were jumping to our left, Craig, but it was side mesh, not back of the net. One to nothing Sweden with four ten to go in the third. Stop by Midas today to buy three tires and get the fourth free. Shop now and pay over time so you can embrace every season, every climate, and every road with confidence. Buy three tires, get one free. Shop tires at Midas.com. When it comes to Tim's smile cookie, not every smile is perfect. <laughs> Again? But they all make a difference. Because 100% of smile cookie proceeds go right back into your neighborhood. Spreading millions of smiles to over 600 local charities and community groups. Helping our neighbors all across the country. Get your smile cookie from April 29th to May 5th and help us make a difference. Well, it's four minutes and ten seconds of so third period time left in Slovakia making a great push here. Bobby Harenstam has been terrific during the last sequence and seemingly when Slovakia's had good chances he has found a way time and time again to get the puck out of the net. Slovakia trying to bring home a medal at this tournament for the first time in over 20 years. Down by one. Straka in the corner. Anborn hits him. Sweden pushing up that right side. Berglund and Tomic stick were tangled up. Puck then swatted to center. Radovojevic back. But the 2022 Olympics, Slovakia broke through with that bronze medal. First in their history. Look out. Turnover. Berglund in shot. Stop. Rebound. Score. Is that the dagger? Melvin first from third of the tournament. 2 nothing. Sweden.
Melvin Bergstrom finishes the play. He also starts the play. It's a great puck battle. Radovojevic is trying to get past Bergstrom, and Bergstrom doesn't let him get by there. Pursues him, sweeps the puck off the stick. Berglund with a great shot, and it kicks right back to Bergstrom. Brian, I would suggest that is the dagger, but what a fantastic play by Melvin Fernstrom to strip Radovojevic, turn it around the other way. Lovey here and stuff. Yep. Yeah, I love it. Give me the love. Give me the love. We'll give you the love, Lovey. <laughs> Who said no love? Great goal for Sweden. 2 nothing. Time winding down in this bronze medal game. Reminder, Canada, USA later tonight for goal. Norland shoots and blocked in front by Shevka. Radovojevic was going back for that puck. I was thinking, like, you know, there's lots of time here. Slovakia, you know, just you know, keep pressing, try to get the puck. You don't have to take risks. And then Fernstrom makes an unbelievable play. In an area of the ice where Radovojevic is probably thinking, okay, maybe I'm not going to be pressured. Radovojevic makes the turn and he thinks he's got a beat, but look at the sweep of the stick by Bernstrom to get the puck, the backhand pass to Berglund, back to the scoring area, 2-0 Trey Broner. Offense, you know, it's always tough in Slovakia, Craig, they had just the three goals through their first three games. They were shut out twice to the USA and Finland, and then it was Norway where they broke through and they, they scored at will with 11. They've had lots of good chances in this game, and certainly here in the last sequence before the second goal was scored by Sweden. Aaron Stan, you can't say enough about what he has done for Sweden in the net. Seventeen, Craig. Last time Sweden missed the podium, and a chance. We talked about it. Obviously, there was the COVID year we missed in 2020, but a chance for six appearances, six medals. That's impressive. And there you go, net empty. So Al Lenyak in a two-nothing game on the bench. The extra attacker out for Slovakia. You never know. 3:06 to go, and they control off the draw. Radovojevic. We'll hand it off. We'll get it back. Bobichel. Radovojevic takes a look. Arenko towards the net. And the puck is shipped. Slimulanius trying to clear. He can't. Back behind the net. Toby right through the crease. He has struck it in front. Bobichel. Line back end feed. Radovojevic thought about the shot. Bobichel walks it in. Shoots. Heron Sam stops that. Straka picks it up. 2.30 to go. 2 nothing Sweden. Bobichel. Radovojevic. Bobichel. That was blocked. Empty net available. Esselbaum, will he take a look? He's over the line. He's hauled down. No call. Good battle now in the corner. Coming off more time. Torreson. And a tripping ball. Captain will go to the box. And that might be the dagger this penalty. And there it is right there. You you called it, Brian. Hold down. was voted one of Slovakia's best three players, their captain, second time in the tournament. So a two-minute power play with 2.04 to go. Sweden trying to put the wraps on a bronze medal here in Finland. Bernstrom in front. Jack Berglund. Gustafson again. Bernstrom for Berglund. And they'll be pretty content to just work this puck around and kill the clock. 
Gustafson. Alphonse Frey. Gustafson. Minute 30 to go. Maruna nearly had a chance to chip it out. Berglund has it below the goal line. Berglund zips it up front. Score! What a rocket! And there is the finishing touches. The defenseman, Alphonse Frey, one of the top players of the tournament for Sweden. And it's 3-0. Alphonse Frey has been excellent in this game, been excellent through the tournament. He and Salin Lenius over 25 minutes of time on ice. And Berglund delivers it beautifully, just feathers it. Frey is right there to finish it off. What a great pass. Lenyak has got his head turning left, and before he knows it, the puck's jumping out of the net. But you play as many minutes, hard minutes, as Frey and Sally Nualenius play. Been very impressive, that duo. Salim Olenius back on the puck. Power play goal for Sweden, 3 0. As we approach the final minute in our bronze medal game, here in Bonzo. Espo, my apologies. It's been a long tournament, Greg. We're in Espo. Kupitz at his own line. Lachinsky. Jerzyk in the corner, using the boards. Wanted to get it up to Kupitz, but it's picked off by Eklund. Eklund, what a move, cutting in, shot, score through the legs. And then look out after that. In a shoving match, Radovojevic didn't like it. Eklund's made it 4 nothing. Yeah, Eklund just leans in here, slips it between the legs of Lenyak. There it is, a little slash between, just kind of a little shove there, really nothing, and turns into something. And Score says 4 nothing. I, I don't think it comes close to reflecting how close this game was. A couple of really good individual plays. The, obviously, the first goal by Pedersen, just a great shot. The great effort by Bernstrom to strip Radovojevic, and when it was 2 nothing, and they go on the power play. Nice finish by Frey on the dish by Berglund. Johan Rosen. Taking home a bronze medal for his squad. All four of those goals, Craig, in the last 10 minutes of this game. Pedersen started it off, and that allowed Sweden a little more life in the legs, a little more confidence, and then they were able to pull away. 15 seconds left. Orson, below the goal line. Up to the point. Gabriel Eliasson takes a look at the clock. As Sweden will medal at the under-18 World Hockey Championship in six straight appearances. It's bronze here in Finland. When you think about Sweden being so badly outplayed in the first period versus Canada in the semifinal, and what they did in the next five periods, you know, pushing Canada as far as Canada has been pushed in this tournament, they were really full marks, getting themselves back in the game. And staying with the game here, I mean, Harrison was excellent, timely plays by some of their top players. Six straight tourneys with a medal. Set the bar high for themselves. Gold in 2022. Silver last year in Switzerland, losing in overtime, and bronze this year in Finland. 
Full credit, though, Craig, to Slovakia. They got better as the tournament went on, as you pointed out many times. A lot of underage players on this team. And the history, and I mean, that tells you what it means to these young men, as you see the emotion on their faces, Craig. For the first time in history, they make back-to-back -back semifinals. They should be very proud of the way they represented their country. And, and, and as you try to set the bar high, you talk about Sweden. Well, Slovakia is doing the same thing under Viral Shatan throughout the whole program and 10 of these players come back for the 2025 under 18 championship and there's every reason to believe the experiences that they went through here can put them in exactly the same position next year getting into the semi-final and competing for a medal the players that they have returned are really really good and this experience will benefit them and, and you see the disappointment when you set the bar high it's not one of those things where you're going wow okay we got this far they get to a point, they, they want to show that they can win and compete. Really strong steps being made by Slovakia High. And for Sweden now, two gold, six silver, and six bronze. All time at this tournament. To your point, too, Craig, on Slovakia, I mean, we, we talked about it in the broadcast, if you're just joining us, I mean, relegated not that long ago, 2019, and developed a way in a program in Pope Prad where they wanted to develop players, work on their crafts. It's been fun to watch them personally at this tournament and the improvement every year. Well, and, and, and you, you get the benefit of watching Yuri Slavkovsky. And, and now they have role models. You know, Yuri Slavkovsky playing in arguably the greatest hockey market in the planet with the Montreal Canadiens and the Stores franchise. Now all these kids can start to look, you know, Simon Nemitz and the best player New Jersey. But they can look, they can look up. Dalibor Dvorsky is going to be a, Dalibor Dvorsky has got a chance to be a star in the National Hockey League. So you get to watch this and now you see what they've accomplished and you've got a chance now to emulate what they've done. The best player of Team Slovakia, number 31, Alan Lendok. Made some great saves early in the game. And you think back to the quarterfinal win versus Czechia, Craig, 27 massive stops in that one to make sure they got to the semifinal. The best player of Team Sweden, number 35, Lube Hansen. Yeah. A couple of those pad saves.